Beyonce breaks things off with Adidas. Selena says leave Hailey Bieber alone. We've got all the hottest new music in your Friday music guide. Lotto builds her ultimate girl group, and Anita shares her surprising music taste. Hey guys, I'm Rania Niftos for Billboard News. It's Friday, March 24th, and you know what that means, new music. Here's your Friday music guide. Rosalia and Rao Alejandro got everyone excited with the announcement of their joint album RR, and it's finally here with the lead single, Beso. And what better way to launch the ultimate joint project than with an engagement announcement? Jimin's long-awaited solo album, Face, is here, and I think Tetris took the day off to fully appreciate the album. And I know he's gotta be loving the music video for Like Crazy. Luke Combs is back and he's getting old. His words, not mine. Accompanied by stripped down studio videos for some of his tracks, like Where the Wild Things Are. When the sky goes dark, Things on. Sweetie hopped on Baby Tate's Hey Mickey for the remix, and they told me all about it. Hey, hey, baby, baby, I'm with Tay. She a tourist, I'm a cancer. Where my college bitches, you I see my alma mater. When it came to thinking about who would I want on it, I knew it had to be somebody that's gonna match the cuteness and the energy of the song. And Sweetie, like, look, look at the Hello Kitty face <laughs> right now. <laughs> like, you know, I just knew she would bring the energy that it needed. Yeah. And so, yeah, it just made sense. I love remixes. Yeah. When the song is like done already, it's easier for me to write. Mm -hmm. It's true. <laughs> so I was just excited when I got the phone call. Want to hear some K-Rock? Lauren dropped his debut EP, put up a fight, and Tetris caught up with him at South by Southwest ahead of the release. And yeah, tell me about how it was to create this new sound. It's an album with a lot of songs from like different phases of, you know, my production. So I think it kind of shows like the progression of where I kind of was and where I am like right now. If only I could show. It varies a lot from like song to song. I don't think it's an album that kind of has like a specific character. Now let's get to the top story of the day. Beyonce and Adidas have ended their Ivy Park partnership, but what does that mean for the singer and her athleisure brand? After coming together in 2018 to relaunch her athleisure brand Ivy Park, Beyonce has parted ways from the sportswear giant Adidas. The split was reportedly due to creative differences between the two, with Beyonce excited to reclaim her brand, chart her own path, and maintain creative freedom. Despite the breakup, Beyonce has much to look forward to considering the frenzy surrounding her upcoming Renaissance World Tour, kicking off in May. Ever wondered who Lotto thinks would make the ultimate girl group? You're in luck, because that's exactly what she told us. My ultimate girl group, hmm. My ultimate girl group would be, of course, me. Dolce, SZA, hey SZA. Lizzo, hey Lizzo. And Flo Millie, hey Flo. That's my girl group. Is that too many members? No, that's good. That's what good. You we'll be the bad bitches, the baddest bitches. <laughs> the baddest bitches. <laughs> that's a bad name. <laughs> What a sucky ass name. But we got, we got the talent to make up for it, yeah. Selena Gomez has a message for her fans. Stop the bullying. Baby, show me you can calm down, calm down. Selena Gomez posted an urgent message to her Instagram stories, telling her fans that she does not stand for the hateful negativity towards Hailey Bieber. Hailey reached out to Selena to let the singer know that she's been receiving death threats after an alleged feud between the two. Selena took to her socials to come to Hailey's defense, writing, This isn't what I stand for. No one should have to experience hate or bullying. I've always advocated for kindness and really want this all to stop. Let's hope Selena's 400 plus million followers see the post and respect her wishes. We here at Billboard love Anita and what better way to appreciate her than with a rapid fire game. You'd be shocked to learn that I'm a big fan of Strokes. The last song I listened to was 
That's not my deal. That's not your deal. Wait. So it was. If you saw this playlist, you would be like, you listen to this? <laughs> like, you'll be shocked I listened to Chris Stapleton. The last song I heard was this. Nice coast. Weirdest thing that I do before I go on stage is pee. I, I really pee. Because <laughs> it comes in the middle of like, and you need to. I go to the bathroom and he sees there any to come out, any pee, because the stage is not the time. Come on. That's the really try. important stuff. Yeah. That's our show. I hope you enjoy your weekend. We'll be back next week with our iHeartRadio Music Awards coverage and a super steamy Billboard cover. I'm Rania Niftos, and this is Billboard News.